Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, wanted to jump on here and uh, give a little update on the roadside stand. Okay. Um, but before that, I needed to touch on a few things from comments that I've been getting and whatnot. Nothing bad, just, you know, it's all positive, but I just wanted to touch on them to... Uh, just basically give out a little bit of information and whatnot. So one of the questions that I'm getting a lot, and I and man, do I appreciate you guys, is, uh, you know, do I need help out here? Or um, would I mind if someone came by and volunteered or someone wants to learn, you know, stuff from here, which is amazing. I mean, you know, in itself is, is great. But um, it doesn't work well for me to have individual people come out sporadically um and what i mean by that is um it's hard to just you know have someone show up this day have someone show up that day have someone show up that day and then you know you're 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 spending time talking you're spending time doing some work too you know whatnot but you're uh you're you're definitely sharing pleasantries um and you know those kinds of time and hours and whatnot they they do add up um, those things are great, but I prefer to do that in a group setting versus in a one by one setting. Um, so having said that, I, I will have, uh, dates that, you know, we can get together as a group out here and, uh, maybe do something like processed chickens or, um, every spring I typically have a fall, I mean a fall, I have a, um, a spring cleanup day or something like that out here, you know, where um, I just get some people together and we do some heavy lifting on some stuff that is much harder for me to get done by myself. So, um, yeah, so that's it for that. I mean, I just I just can't do the onesie twosies, you know, um, and especially you're some people are going to be traveling for an hour, two hours, whatnot. And you get out here and then, you know, it's, it's a, it, it would be a long ordeal and I wouldn't want it to be something that was like, oh, you're out here for 30 minutes, 45 minutes now, go drive back two hours, you know? So anyway, I, um, I hope everybody understands that. And, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it with that. Um, number two question that I get a lot is people want to know how they can start a homestead and honestly I can tell you how I started my homestead but at the same time you have to consider that my situation is probably different than a lot of people's situation whereas I do have income coming in that I don't have to worry about having a nine to five job Having, now, I did start this with a nine to five job, and it was obviously I had more money, <laughs> but I had less time to take care of the homestead. And the homestead was really my passion. And the homestead was helping my mental health. So, you know, the, the job was hurting my mental health. So, I, I, you know, after talking to a therapist, I was like, I got to cut out the job portion of it, you know, uh, because all the positive stuff I was doing in therapy was getting undone <laughs> at work. And so you have to, you have to cut ties with that. So, um, anyway, I'll do a video about how I started my homestead. Um, not really going to cover that in this video, but I will do a video about that. And, um, maybe that gives people some ideas about how they could start their own. All right, so let's get to the roadside stand. Um, I went down a rabbit hole today, and I found out some information. And we're gonna we're gonna see. You know, this is an ongoing thing, but for my roadside stand, I'm probably gonna need some licenses. Okay, here in Georgia, from what I've read so far, I went to the county extension office today. Check the times, everything. They were closed at lunch. I went and grabbed me some lunch. And then I came back, you know, at the time they were supposed to be open. No one was there. 
I waited about 30 minutes. No one showed up. I called thinking maybe they were just in the office. But nobody answered the phone. So don't know what's up with that. But anyway, I went down a rabbit hole looking at what I would need to start my roadside stand. Um, a lot of people out there will say, hey, just do it under the table and, you know, just do it that way. I'm not that type of person. Not saying that somebody who does do that is a bad person, but <clears throat> I don't do that because, uh, one, my anxiety probably wouldn't let me do it. I'd be worried every five minutes that, you know, somebody's about to pull up and shut me down and find me and all kinds of stuff. So I just, I won't go that route. I want my roadside stand to be set up correctly. So I was looking at licensing. I will need a food sales establishment license. That runs between $100 and $300, between on, depending on what level you are, level one through five. Um, I don't know exactly what constitutes those levels yet, but this is a preliminary research. Um, Georgia business license, I will need. And for Upson County, that's supposed to be $171. So we're getting up, you know, a little bit here. Um, there's some produce safety rule training I'm supposed to do. I don't know the price on that or if it charges at all. It may just it may just be training that you have to take. Um, then that got me to thinking, well, hey, it's here on my property, right? So I need some kind of liability insurance. I have not researched the rates on liability research on liability insurance, but it probably won't be cheap, right? Um, taxes. So apparently I have to charge sales tax. I have to look more into that. I don't know exactly how that works, but um, for me to be a legitimate business here, I need to sell, I need to, to charge a sales tax. Um, what else? Oh, so... I need a way to collect payments. So could I be a cash only establishment? I think in this day and age, you just can't be a sales on a cash only establishment. So I would have to find a way to process credit transactions. I'm familiar with Square, um, but now they do take a portion of your, of your sale for them, right? Um, so I have to take that into consideration. Do I raise the price that much? so on and so forth. Um, in order to keep up with sales, I'm gonna need accounting software. Um, I've never had to use accounting software, so I gotta learn accounting software. Um, that's another uh, expense as well, because a lot of those accounting softwares aren't too cheap either. Where my stand is gonna be, I'm probably gonna need a Wi-Fi extender because I get zero service around here. So I don't think that it would work out there without a Wi-Fi extender. I don't know exactly how much those cost, but that's another expense. Um, and there were some more optional things that they recommended as well. Um, I've been going on the UGA uh, website. That's who our extension is, is through UGA. So, um, yeah, you know, so a lot of people think, hey, just sit out there on the side of the road and, and sell some stuff, pack up and come back in, you know, but if you want to do it right and you don't want to have any trouble down the road, um, there's some things that need to be put in place. So the way that I look at it, building my structure, which that doesn't need a permit because it's not big enough. At least I'm not building one big enough that it needs a permit. But I still need material to build it. Um, we're looking at somewhere around $1,000, $1,500 to, uh, to start a business. Now, that's not a lot of money to start a business. It's not. But when you're in my situation, um, whether or not, because I, I, I pretty much run my homestead on a month-to-month -month basis. So at the beginning of each month, 
I buy all the feed I need. That's when I get paid. So I get all the feed I need. I get all the materials that I'm going to need to do projects for that month. I, you know, so everything is done that way. So at the end of the month, there's not much left over. Um, so to be able to save up or whatnot, it would take a while to be able to save up to that. Now, I do have YouTube now, and I will be making a modest, small bit of revenue from that. So everything I make from 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 YouTube, I can set it aside and pay these things as I go. That'll work. Um, also, you notice that you know I'm always um, promoting my my affiliates and my Amazon stuff and whatnot. You know, I never want you guys to just buy stuff to support me, okay? But I put those things out there because there may be things that you want that you that you will see on there, and then you purchase it and it, it, it helps both of us, you know. And I have discount codes for some things too. So um, yes, well, as of right now, I don't make any money off of that stuff. At least, I mean, I've, I mean, we're talking in the last six months, I may have made a hundred bucks, you know what I mean? So it's not like it's, you know, and, um, it's not like it's a lot of, a lot of money being made right there, but you know, every little bit helps. So anyway, I don't want this to be, you know, about that, but you know, those little purchases, and some people do make purchases, and I really appreciate it, you know. Um, those purchases help toward me being able to do some of these things that, that I want to do. I really want to do the roadside stand. Um, so hopefully, uh, between uh, YouTube, AdSense rev revenue, and, uh, and my affiliates and whatnot, I may be able to scratch enough together to be able to actually do this. Um, I got to do more research. I have to figure out if that's all that I need to, to start the business. Um, I need to talk to people, but people aren't, people aren't available. <laughs> you know, I'm doing a lot of reading and whatnot, but I need people that, um, Hey, somebody here, if you're watching this and you have a roadside stand and you went through it the right way and meaning you got all your certificates, you got all your licenses, um, Please comment below. I'd love to pick your brain about, you know, what I need and what you've done. And specifically here in Georgia, uh, different counties are, are it'll, it'll be okay. I don't mind that. I know things will be different in different counties, but at least, you know, in the state of Georgia. Um, but people outside of Georgia, you know, if you've had a roadside stand, definitely I'd love to hear about the pros and cons um, of it. I just, you know... I just really wanted to go smoothly and I've, I've worked a market stand before. So this is not my first time, uh, doing something similar to this. So I do understand working, um, a, uh, a, a market stand, which this will be similar to that. Uh, just not as big of a scale as, as that was. So, um, but that wasn't mine. And so I didn't get into the nuance of, of you know licenses and all that kind of stuff you know so anyway i just wanted to get on here real quick and talk about that i've really been uh researching and going down this rabbit hole i enjoy it because i love to learn new stuff but a lot of that stuff is written so that you can't understand it you know because you gotta need you're gonna need you know it tells you this needs this but then you have to look up what this is you know <laughs> you know you know, this kind of uh, business needs this. I don't know if y'all can see me or not. So, yeah, um, definitely over the next month or so, I really have to figure things out because um, I need to start getting the ball rolling on what I need as far as these licenses and certificates and, and all that jazz. But we're going to make it happen. I'm not going to let stuff like that dis discourage me. Um but at the, at the end of the day, there is a dollar figure out there and I got to meet that dollar figure. So um, <clears throat> I think that could possibly be the only thing that, that holds me back as far as uh, what my plans are as far as this. So 
anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Just wanted to jump on here and give you an update on those couple things, the comments I've been getting about uh, coming out here to help and uh, and uh, how to start a homestead. So um, I'll be coming out with a video on starting a homestead and coming out here to help. I'll be putting out dates and whatnot that we can get a group out here to uh, maybe process chickens or um, if I have some heavy lifting that I need to move something around and whatnot, and it's, it's uh, difficult for just me, you know, um, then, then we'll do that. Some of my events, I typically will have uh, like lunch or something like burgers and whatnot, pop them on the grill, get that going. So um, anyway, I think that's about it. I really appreciate you guys. Amazing comments as always. Uh, I'm not getting to reply to a lot because I'm getting a lot of comments right now, but um, I am acknowledging your comment at the, at the least. The comments pop up in different places. So it's hard for me to go to one place and see all the comments. So sometimes I don't see a comment till like a, month, a, a week later. And I'm like, how did I miss that comment? You know, but um, I'm trying, I'm trying to, to stay up on that and um, just keep them coming. And I noticed that a lot of people have been sharing my content. I did not realize that. So um, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Uh, I believe that my message of, uh, of mental health, especially veteran mental health, is an important topic. And my way of coping, my way of, you know, and people, oh, people talk about that as well. And I will say that, um, yes, back in January, I had to start taking medication. Uh, medication is not a uh, long term that I'm going to be on medication for the rest of my life, but it was instrumental in getting me over the hump. And so eventually we'll be able to back it down and, and, and come off of it. And I think that the more that I work here on the homestead, probably the sooner I can get to that point. So, um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, the message needs to be spread that there's a lot of people out there suffering and they don't know where to start. And personally, I tell you the way the place to start is by talking to someone. And the, when to do that is today. Um, you'll feel much better and you will uh, you will start your road to recovery instantly. So. Well, hey guys, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, I hope, I hope the the uh, turkeys and the chickens stole the show again today. And uh, hey, I'm blessed. I am. I am truly, truly blessed. But we'll see you in the next video.